closer. I wish to share something with you. Something so dark it will lead all your co-workers to despise you. But they will also fear your power. It is the darkest of magics. The darkest of Vim magics. Spells that I call the Vim Heresy. Hey everyone. So today I want to talk about something that is a bit controversial. What's not controversial is that Vim is an excellent, excellent source code editor. What's also not controversial is that it's very difficult to use. Um, and one of the reasons why it's very it was very difficult to use for me was the movement key bindings. Now, what I'm about to say is controversial. You can change your key bindings for your movement keys. Um, a lot of Vim purists are going to scoff at this, are going to, to tell me, and if you follow my recommendations, they're going to tell you that you're wrong and that you're doing things badly and that you shouldn't be doing this. Um, but if I didn't do these things, I would not have been able to use Vim and I would not be using Vim as my editor and therefore I would be a lot slower in programming. So if you're interested in using Vim, but you've had difficulties kind of getting into it, um, this video is for you. So I'm gonna be very, very simple. That's I'm not gonna do anything super elaborate or te technical. This is just the first stage um, with Vim if you are having real problems moving around in Vim. So let us let me start off from the beginning and, and tell you what at least my problem is, and maybe this is your problem as well. Um, if, I, if I open up a file with Vim, and I'm gonna use the dash U here um, to make it so that Vim runs with a, a fresh um, a fresh configuration. It's not going to be using my default configuration. Um, if I open up a a, um, a file in Vim, and let's pretend this is the first time I've ever installed Vim, I'm going to have the problem that my brain just isn't smart enough to get around the fact that the way you move around in Vim is using the keys H, J, K, and L. Um, my brain, maybe it's because I've played too many video games, but um, my brain wants to have the up, to move up, I want to leave home row on my middle finger and press one higher than where it normally sits. To move down, I want to remain on home row and use my middle finger to press the key that it's currently on. To move left, I want my index finger to press down on the home row key that it normally rests. And to move right, I want my ring finger on my right hand to be on home row and press down. So what that means is that, um, so let's pretend that I was, I was on the other hand. Um, this is sort of like what you find with uh, WASD with WASD. Your index finger, one, one higher than home row, moves you up. If it remains on home row, it moves you down. Um, so that's W and S. To move left, you would press A with your ring finger. And to move right, you would press D with your index finger. But this is on your right hand. Um, and the reason why I'm saying this is uh, to move around on your right hand is because the left hand key bindings are, are kind of important and they make a lot of sense. Um, such as like DD to delete the line and um, stuff like that. You don't you don't want to mess around with the left hand key bindings, but the right hand key bindings can be messed around with, because the one other key that I want you to mess with is I. Now I does make sense for insert mode, um, but we need an extra key here to get around this. So what I do is I remap I to move up. J to move left, K to move down, L to move right, and to enter into insert mode, I use H. So what does that look like? How do you how do you do this remapping? To do this remapping, um, in normal Vim, you you can edit your .vimrc 
rc file, um, and that's dot uh, tilde slash vimrc. Or in NeoVim, um, you can edit the file um, tilde dot config uh, slash nvim slash init dot vim. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm I'm going to use the U option again, and I'm get, just going to show you only these key bindings and the reason why I think that they're important. So I'm going to use uh, an init vim that I have in this this current directory in this vim. Uh, this demo vim heresy um, directory, and I'm going to open up that that vim heresy dot uh, text document. So now, um, when I press K, I move down. L is right, J is left, I is up. To enter into insert mode, I press H, and now I am in insert mode. But it goes a little bit deeper than that because in vim you can do a little bit more, and there's that means that there's a little bit more mappings that you want to do. In Vim, you have these ideas of splits. Um, so let, let me just show you a regular split. So if I press the colon and then I type split, you will see that now there are two editors that I have up. I have a top editor and a bottom editor. And I have done some remapping such that I can jump from the top to the bottom very simply. Uh, in much the same way as the key bindings to move around just, just normally. And what that is, is I've mapped uh, control plus J, K, L, and I to do the various different jumping around. So let's open up a few more splits here. I'm going to open up a B split on the upper window. So now, now I've got these three windows in which I can move around. And let me open up one more V split on the bottom window. And it's, it's very simple. And one last thing, uh, let's say I'm, I'm in, uh, I'm in, I'm in insert mode right now. I don't like having to lift up my hand to press escape. And the escape key on my keyboard is a little bit too far away for me to just hit with, with my pinky finger. Um, so rather than leaving home row to hit that escape key, I am going to remap JJ. And JJ is going to take me out of insert mode. So let me show you how I did all of that. And it's the vim file. What I've done is these few lines. So these four lines are to move, um, to get your movements from, from the H, J, K, and L to I, J, K, and L. And these four movements are to allow you to move around when you're in splits. So what this, what this means, what this capital C means during the, re, um, the, the remap here, when it's inside of the uh, the angle braces, is that it's a control. So you press Control J to move one split to the left, Control L to move one split to the right, and I to move uh, a split up, and K to move a split down. And then this insert mode no remap is to get JJ to remap to escape. Now this might give you problems if you have a variable called like JJ underscore thing. Um, uh, in my in my programming, um, that's very rare. Um, I've uh, in fact I never have a JJ because I can no longer type that. But uh, maybe maybe you want to get rid of this. Um, maybe you don't want to have that one, and you you're fine with with pressing the escape key. So yeah. Um, that's all I've got for you. Um, be careful with your Vim heresy, because it is the darkest of magic. They will fear you and despise you. You should keep this to yourself. Thank you very much.